when you look at a parking lot, it's easy to understand why there aren't any quail or rabbits. There's nothing to eat, nowhere to hide. This ain't a parking lot, but it sure ain't much better for quail and rabbits. An open field like this with low grass is a notch above a parking lot, but not by much, though. Fescue pastures like this are everywhere now. There's not a bit of cover or food out there for either a rabbit or a quail. You know, the rabbit will eat some of the fescue on the edge, but that's not good food. But just think if you were out there and you were him, the hawk would get you during the day, and if the hawk didn't get you, the owl would at night. This might be good for cattle and horses, but as far as for rabbits and quail, forget it. Subdivisions like this one, this one probably did have quail at one time. The land did, but not anymore. We're not burning the woods like we used to, and so we've got stands like this. This is a Virginia pine stand that came into an old field. It's not being burned. It's not being managed in any way. And so the, really in here, there's nothing to eat and nowhere to hide. And so it's not a parking lot, and it's not a fescue field, but it's really not a whole lot better. If you come out into a place like this, an animal, then what's he going to eat? I guess pine needles, sticks. That's about it. That's about all that's in this place. It's pretty pitiful. Here's what we're looking for for quail and rabbits. This rough stuff, it's not woods. It's not open field. It's in between. Animals like it because there's something to eat and there's places to hide. And so if you want to do something for small game like rabbits and quail, this is what they need. And if you own land and want to provide for them, this is what they're after. Good looking habitat like this, the rough stuff, lots of times you find it on power line right of ways. Biologists call this kind of land early successional. And what they're talking about is that succession is a process, it's an aging process by which a field changes to a forest. And so to go from grasses and weeds to small trees like that Virginia pine, and then gradually over time it'll be big trees. It'll convert to a forest. And so what they mean by early succession is that early in that aging process as a field grows up into a forest, early on is when it's best for quail and rabbits. And that's that early, early part of that early successional term. So a biologist would look at this and call it early successional habitat. The sort of in-between growth that's not field anymore and it's not woods, it's in between. And this is the problem with quail and rabbits, that there's just not much of this anymore. And often when you find it, it's in little tiny patches and there's just not enough. Here's another grown up field. Provides food and cover, the kind we're after. But this is just a patch. And I mean, look what's right there. Dang McDonald's. Here's a gigantic agricultural field. It was corn last summer. It's mowed clean for the winter. They got a little bit of rough, but it's just along the ditch. That's not enough. Here's another good little patch for rabbits, but it's just that, it's a patch. See, it's in a mowed fescue pasture, houses on one side, businesses on the other, apartments. So, you know, there's just not enough habitat for these animals. That's the problem. And so the solution is to provide more habitat for them. And if you own land and want to manage for these animals, there's all kinds of things you can do to help them. The way I look at it, what happened to quail and rabbits is that there's not enough of this rough land. I don't blame it on the predators. Some people blame it on coyotes, on hawks. But when the animals have land that looks like this, they got the ability, natural ability to hide and get away, at least in enough numbers to keep the population going. And so if we want more quail and rabbits, the answer is to have more habitat like this, this rough looking stuff. This is what they need. One of the really good things about managing for early successional species is that they're first responders. When the conditions are right, they come in fast. And so you don't have to wait 80 years for a response. You can get it in just a few years. This, what we're looking at now, has the right plant conditions. And this was a cove last year, part of a lake. They drained it and these plants came in. They just jumped on it. And the animals will be following shortly. Of course, this ain't gonna last very long because they're gonna reflood it. But the point is that results are quick. This, just to show you, those are fish 
tire, those tires were put there for fish to add some structure to the lake bottom. And then we look out just, just to see it. But that's the lake. And so the habitat now for fish is out there. It wasn't here, it's gone now. Habitat's just the right conditions for the animals to live. So fish gotta have water, small game like rabbits and quail, they've gotta have this early successional habitat if this vegetation. They go hand in hand. This right here is like water to a fish when you're thinking about the small game. Some people worry about this rough land like this, brushy, because they're worried about snakes. But one of the great things about this habitat, if you walk through it, is that the snakes can hear you coming and they get on out of the way. It's rare to see a snake in this kind of habitat as you walk through it. I mean, they're out there, but they get out of your way. And it's not like you can order up rabbits and quail and say, hold the snakes. God didn't intend it that way. So with the snakes, you get the rabbits and the quail and songbirds and the butterflies and all that good stuff. If you add rough stuff like this to your property and quail and rabbits are in the area, they're going to find it. Honestly, though, we've got so much of this now that in some cases, the rabbits and quail are about gone. More so for quail than for rabbits. Rabbits are still around but quail have some, about disappeared from some places and so you may not get quail by just adding a little bit of rough here and there but you will get more wildlife and that's guaranteed and by leaving that rough in the springtime you'll get this rough like this right here come to life with wildflowers insects songbirds it's a wonderful place one of the easiest ways to go about getting this rough stuff on your property is to just quit mowing so much and the, the natural plants will come back in. You can speed it up though and herbicide, by herbicide and fescue pastures, prescribe burn the woods, thin them out. There's all kinds of things you can do. If you need some technical help, people like me are available. Wildlife biologists, it's what we do for a living. Give me a call. See you later.